Okay, people. So let's get on with the 30 ball. And did she just get on a bra? Like, what the hell? You all know Blake is a damn sweatsuit ass bitch. So. A few days later. So are you ready for tomorrow? I have no choice, but my lawyer will be there. And he told me to say, what well, to say to the prosecutor, well, to the inspector, mm -mm, the prosecutor. We planned everything. Uh, we found every question he should, uh, he could ask me. And of course, every answer. Jake is the best lawyer. Trust me. Um, yeah, he's really great. But it's a little, it's still a little stressful. Of course it is. But you're strong enough to go through this. So, okay, I wish Haynes would uh, believe me this time. I wonder if her mom find out that her dad is the one who's paying for this. Like, how she's going to fucking react. Like, I wonder that night. Of course, I'm afraid about tomorrow. What if he doesn't believe me? What if he still thinks I'm guilty? Hey. So, how are you? I'm fine. I'm ready to do this. She declared war and it's time for her to pay. I want, wait, I didn't want to show him that I was, I'm afraid. I want to be strong. Girl, for once. I wish I was as strong as him. But anyway, I don't want to talk about her. Are you hungry? I made dinner and there's leftovers in the fridge. It's fine. I ate with Jay. But thank you. You're the best girlfriend. Mm. Let's go to bed. You have a big day tomorrow. So you gonna go to bed like that, boy? <laughs> that night I didn't sleep much. I was thinking about, I was thinking and thinking about everything. <sighs> what, if, what if they still believed her? What if they send me to jail? Finally, after a while, I fell asleep in the only place where I feel safe. Liam's arms, obviously. The next day, are you ready? Yes, I am. It'll be fine. Trust me. Yeah. I hope so. What are you planning to do today? Nothing. I'll stay here until you're back. I had to go. Jake is waiting for me. I know. Um, see you later. Yeah. Just hug me one last time. You have nothing to fear. I won't let you go to jail. I love y'all. Yeah, you won't let her go and she won't let your ass go, apparently. I love you too. <laughs> Did you give your mommy some kisses through the day? Hi. Hello, Blake. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Then let's go. Bye, Mrs. Cole. Bye, Mrs. Cole. Bye. Stop, Mrs. Skull, Mrs. Skull, hey, hey. Okay. Liam's funny of you. I know y'all be like, she just turned everything into a song. I really do. It's Liam. I'm coming. I thought you were staying home, Liam. Bye-bye. Bye, Liam. Leave it. Oh. Where are you going? I knew it. Not your business, Mom. <laughs> Did you hear how wrong that sentence sound? Where are you going? Not your business, mom. Bitch, knock his ass. Out. His mama need to be start knocking the hell out of his ass. Cause he gonna he gonna put some respect on her motherfucking name, child. There's no way I'll let her end up in jail. So what you about to do? Go say that you did it or something? I don't understand. Liam, wait. Oh, here come this bitch. Please wait. I have nothing to say to you. I do. I heard what happened. I just want to see Blake. I'm sure she needs her friend. Yeah, sure, but you're not her friend anymore. End of conversation. You can't do that. I was here for her since the beginning. You just you can't decide for her. You don't know what she needs. No, you don't know, Joanne. Maybe you should have told what what happened, but you don't know that she's been through. What? What she's been through. Um. Um, you have absolutely no idea what horrible things he did to her. 
Now, don't you dare tell me what I don't want. I don't know what she needs. You're not here when she wakes up at night crying. When she does, when she doesn't want to eat. When she cries because she says she killed her baby. You're not there. Oh, you're not here. You could have stopped this earlier, but you didn't. And it's not my problem. I can't deal with that. With what? With you? Oh, no. Wait. <sighs> this just stressed me out. Sorry, guys. This shit's stupid. I don't want to put my exit button at the top anyway. Come on. Shit. Yeah, because everyone knows that you're perfect. Everything is my fault, right? Well, I... Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, wait a minute now, baby. Well, I have news for you, Liam. You're not perfect. You did some mistakes, too. And maybe you should ask yourself why she didn't talk to you. Why didn't she trust you enough to tell you the truth? Maybe because you played with her feelings during the month. Or maybe because you were too busy sleeping with all those bitches. I welcomed her into my place. I took care of her. And you, Liam, where were you? She would have told you the truth if, truth if you were not such a jerk. Shut up, bitch. Mm, I know he was going to hit her ass. I was so mad at her that I slapped her. Mm, I don't know why I did it. I don't hit women. Oh, well, mm, but she went too far. Yeah, now there's no doubt. You're a freaking son of a bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, the woman got the hell slapped out of her. She a thug, baby. Back to Blake's point of view. So I have a few questions. Again, yeah, that's the problem when you don't follow the rules. Anyway, where were you the day of your stepfather's death? I was with my, boy I was with my boyfriend at his house. And his mother, Mrs. Cole, can confirm it. She was there with them. My clients live. Uh, my client lives with them for weeks now. Lucy, A.K.A. Tolucci, Tolucci, and I decided to say that Liam was with us all day, but Jake doesn't know that's a lie. That's interesting. Now, do you remember where you were that? Now that you remember where you were that day, my client was stressed out and afraid, probably due to the lack of professionalism. <laughs> So, you're dating a gang member and drug dealer. What a shame. One day we'll catch him once and for all. Catch him what? I don't I don't know if I want to defend him or not. I don't, I don't, I don't really. We going to go with don't say anything. This interrogation is not about Mr. Cole. Right. You're right. So, according to your mother, you were sexually abused by your stepfather. Is that true, Mrs. Turner? Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. You were wishing for a bird. Yes, it is. Leave everybody walk. Um, is that the reason why you killed him? I didn't kill him. My client already told you that she where she was that day, and Mrs. Biter and Mr. Biterman um probably had a lot of enemies. Um, his body was left on the ground, riddled with bullets. This is not the work of a professional, and you know that. Uh, it looked like a crime of passion. I didn't kill him. I would never kill anyone. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what about the day you tried to kill your mother? What are you talking about? She said you came home with a gun a few weeks ago. She said you were about to kill her until your boyfriend came to stop you. That's not true. Of course it is, but Jake <laughs> said that I had to lie about that. She has no proof anyway. She's lying. And why would she do that? Because she hates me. She never loved me. What are you talking about? Your mother is a respectable woman. Be sad. She's not. She hate. She hated me all my li entire life. She hits me ever, ever since. Years, bitch, what? Who the fuck? She didn't even believe me when I told her that her husband raped me. She has never she was never there. She let me live with with this monster. 
and when she was there, she hit me constantly. That's why I tried to kill myself, because I was pregnant with him. All that she wants is John's money. That's why she's trying to send me to jail. And we want to file a complaint against her. My client was abused for years. She could have died so many times because of her mother. Now tell me, do you really think someone will send my client to jail when, she, when she'll when she tell what she's been through? You know it's pointless. True. We'll do some... We'll do some research. Research is fuck. That shit stresses me out. We'll do some research. Just, no, we'll do some research. I hope so. And you and tell Mrs. Vitamin she should find a good lawyer. And uh, now you can give our. Uh, now we can give our official statement. Now can we give our official statement? Yes, I'm listening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I told him everything about my mother. Everything she did to me. I know that soon she'll be informed about my complaint. And I guess she's not going to be happy. What's going to happen now? For now, you're still charged with murder. But they're going to do further research. They'll probably question your mother and Miss Miss Cole. Ugh. But for now, you have nothing to worry about. Everything's under control. Now you just have to wait. I'll handle the rest. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome. I'll keep in touch. I'll keep you in touch. How was it? I don't know. Jack said I have to wait now. I don't know if Mr. Hanks believes me. It was so hard to tell him. But there's no way I'll let my mother win this time. She deserves to go to jail. I know. That's why I kind of said that you were with me the day of John's murder. You did what? (laughs) Your mother and I decided that it was the best thing to do. I can't believe it. I can't let you go to jail. Meanwhile. (laughs) Yes. Kate plus eight. Mrs. Vitamin, we have a few questions for you. Yes. Kate plus motherfucking eight. How can I help you? (laughs) I had a very interesting conversation with your daughter this morning. She said that you hit her. That you knew uh, your husband raped her. Is that true? What? No, it's not. I love my daughter with all my heart. She never accepted John. She never liked him. That's why I didn't believe her. I'm sure John never touched her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but we called the hospital, and apparently she was pregnant when she tried to kill herself. And they also had, uh, they also said that your daughter was admitted multiple times for physical in- injuries these last years. Mm-hmm. Do you have an explanation, Mrs. Spiderman? I know she doesn't have a lot of friends. Maybe someone at her school. Inspector Haynes, I've got something. Let's take a look. Wait, what, what the fuck you got? I found a gun. What? It's the same gun. Is this your bedroom, Mr. Spider-Man? What? Yes, it's... Yes, this uh gun is not mine. Yes, but this gun is not mine. I never saw it before. Yeah, you're going to explain everything to me at the police station. Well done, Roberts. Let's send it to the lab. What? Later that day, what do you want to eat for dinner? I'm not hungry. I just want to go to bed. Silently, he approached me and sat next to me. <sighs> Heck, you know, you know you can go out if you want. I want to stay with you. Is there something wrong? No. I wrapped my arms around his waist and I rested my head against his chest. I knew something. I know something is wrong, but I also know he doesn't like to show his feelings. So I sighed and I stayed silent. <sighs> Do you want to watch some TV? No, the press is going crazy. I don't want to turn the TV on. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. It's nothing. No, it's stupid. I'm stupid. No, you're not. Don't say such a thing. <laughs> Liam, tell me what's going on. Nothing. I think he 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 put he had to. I sighed. He had to put that damn gun there. Why are you mad? 
I'm not mad. Liam, please tell me. It's just... I was such a jerk with you. I'm sorry about everything. I played with you. I let you down. I sat and I looked at him. Um, Why would you think that? We're together now. It doesn't matter. Yes, it matters. That's probably the reason why you didn't want to tell me what happened to you. That's the reason why I can't couldn't protect you from him. Don't say that. I took his face in my hands and I looked at him. Don't say that. It was my choice. You couldn't have changed anything. You're everything to me. You're perfect to me. I kissed him and I hugged him. I didn't know how... Uh, I didn't know he felt this way. He didn't until Joanne said that shit. <laughs> the next day we were awakened by the cops. They wanted to question uh, Lucy and Liam. They searched into the house for God knows what. And they left without saying anything. I'm so sorry about that. They didn't come for you. I know Haynes wants to find some evidence against me. He just took the opportunity to have what he wants. But don't worry, honey. I've taken precautions. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Shit. I'm so in love with him. Bitch, I don't know who's going to jail for this fucking murder at this point. It's Jack. Hello? Really? That's amazing. Thank you so much. They charged my mother for the murder of John. That's fantastic. I'm free. It's over. Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. I want to see this one. Kate Vitamin was, was arrested for the murder of her husband, John. Apparently, the police found a gun in her closet. The same gun that, that murder, the murderer used to kill John. There are no prints on the gun, but she has uh but she has a mobile John's for fortune. According to our informer, her daughter would have uh filed a complaint of child abuse against her. A gun? Mother doesn't have a gun. Anything to say, Liam? <laughs> I knew it. I had to make sure you wouldn't go to jail. <laughs> this is unbelievable. How is it even how is it possible? I want to know. Fine. <laughs> Let's see. What the hell? When you left yesterday, I took all my stuff and your uh, key and your house key, the key house. I put uh, my gun in a safe place. And then I went to the trailers after slapping Joanne. I asked Jay to keep all my money. I knew the cops were going to come to my place. And then I went to see Vince. Do you have have the gun? Yeah. You're sure no one can trace it back to us. Do you think I'm stupid? Um, you know what you're doing trying to do. Be careful, Liam. It's none of your business. I went to your place, and of course your mother wasn't there, here as usual. So it was pretty easy. They need some evidence. That's what they. That's what I gave them. Fuck it, thank you. Thank you, you took a big risk for me. I'll never let you down. Clearly, shit. Ain't nobody fucking, I can't believe it. I'm free. She finally paid for everything. And it's all thanks to you. I'd do anything for you. I can't believe it. It's over. John is dead. My mother is going to prison. And one day I'll have John's fortune. Can you imagine what we could uh, do with all this money? We could buy our own house. We could have everything we want. Um, I can't wait till I can't wait to do all these things with you. Mm, did anybody ever think about you know them placing a bug in the house or something? I want to see Hanks. And you are, I'm the man who killed John. <laughs> what? I'm Kate's boyfriend. She cheated on John with me for years. I was sick of waiting for her to divorce, so I killed him. The gun you found is mine. 
Kay has no idea what I did. She's innocent. So please release her. I'm the murderer of John Be Betterman. So he actually liked this bitch. Because I done booked on this bitch so long ago. <laughs> I thought he was just there for the money, y'all, but he actually loved it. He got to love the fuck out that bitch. Love the fuck out of that bitch and take a murder rap, bitch, please. All right. 